Hi Lisa, uh, Bruno again. So I actually added a new component uh, for the classes booking. Because the other one to get all the features you wanted, I had to upgrade the component and it was like super expensive. It was like $600 for the component, which is completely out of our budget, I think. So I, I've looked for another component, which to me seems to be pretty good. Uh, which is now here. So you go on reservation, dashboard, so this is the reservation I've already done, okay, so um, there's two pages of reservation, so I've copied the one you actually did previously on the, the previous extension. So I'm just going to show you how to add a new uh, reservation on this one. So I'm sorry you can forget what I taught you on the former tu tutorial. I'm going to click on add new here. And here we're going to set up the name. So for example, um, I'm going to use Trisha Basejack. Sorry. Trisha Basejack. Uh, she's coming on May 27th, so I'm going to click here, I'm going to choose May 27th, May 27th, alright, um, there is, uh, I don't have the amount of children, if you want to, you can add the amount of children here, child, um, so there's three class spot at the same time as you told me you can only have three classes maximum at the same time so you can choose the spot she has so right now we're gonna choose the first one the email by part by default is is yours okay so we don't have to touch that uh, the status of the registration if it's approved pending or, or rejected is it won't happen I think but uh, you can set approved or, or pending. By default, I set it up to approved because I think most of them will be approved like right away. Um, and then you have uh, you can you can add the details uh, of your reg registration here. So I'm gonna just copy what you what you set up here. So you can type anything you want here. It's all the details of the visit. Then add custom field and then add reservation. The server is a little bit slow, I must confess. So, okay. So now that the registration has been approved. Now, let's say you have three uh, classes um, coming, right? Because here, how is it going to happen? What's going to happen is on the front end, on the visitor side, um, this day, like the 27th of May, is going to appear as yellow. Yellow means uh, it's not full, but there's on, on already at least one class who has booked um, for this day. If it's green, it means it's fully empty. The day is fully empty, and if it's red, it means there's no spot available, right? So, let's say you want to add a new, um, another one. So we're gonna do this one here. So I think there's a couple of them. So first name, okay. I'm gonna add a new a reservation. Okay, so it's the 29. Okay, 29. And if I'm not mistaken, there's uh, three of them, right? There's a Jolly Cakeman, Sandelena, Gina Williams, Ramsey. Oh no, there's only two of them, right? I must be honest with you, I don't really understand what the details mean, right? All with all the number and stuff. So you probably know better than me <laughs> what it what it means. But at least I see two schools. So to put two schools, what we're gonna do is um 
the first one's going to be on the spot one, right? We can copy the details here uh, until here, I guess. So we copy the details, add custom field. Uh, oh, we haven't set up the, the time, so 12 to 2.30 p.m. So 12 to Actually, it's uh, 14 because it's uh, 14.30. And then I can click on, uh, I'm sorry, the wrong date, 29 of May. Okay, I think we're good. No, we're not. 12, 14.30. Each time you, you change the date here, it's going to change the, the time here. So it's a bit painful, but so uh, first things to do is to select the right date, then change the hours if it's not 9 to, to, to 5, okay? Um, then we're going to do add reservation. Okay. So there's one spot uh, full for this class. And we're going to copy this class because the other one's gonna have the same uh, date, so just click copy here. And we're just gonna change the name, uh, which is um, this school here. Okay. And the spot, now it's the spot number two, because it's not a class. When you change the spot, it changes the, the hours. I'm sorry about that. We have to change the hours each time we take the new spot. Okay. The title is going to change here, so we're going to just remove it. And we're going to select the second details that we set up here. Put it there. Uh, it should be all right. Now add custom field and edit reservation. There's a price set up by default here. I set up the $175 per day because it's, but I mean, I don't think it's really important to use it in your case because most of the um, most of the classes are gonna pay you by check, I assume, because usually organization does not have credit card unless I'm mistaken. So um, I don't think it it really matters uh, if you have a price or not here. Uh, all right, so now we have a new reservation, and uh, you can add new reservation this way. And um, I will anyway when I will send you this tutorial, all the dates and um, and the reservation would have been copied to avoid you to retype everything you did previously. So everything is going to be copied and you will have the calendar showing up on the front page. Um, I will send that to you by email. Lisa, if I was not clear, just give me a call or send me an email. Thank you. Bye-bye.